Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. And listen, there is going to be a time when you need materials to get home. So just go on down to the local Walmart and get, well actually wait, what if you don't live near Walmart and Academy Sports and Outdoors? You know, what are you going to do to have the materials you need to get home? I bring you the Tractor Supply Get Home Bag. Now we're gonna dig into this bag here in a second, but first, if you're the type of person that likes to talk about man cave stuff, survival stuff, tools, get home bags, stuff like that, hit the subscribe button, man. Join the battalion. Come on, we, we welcome you with open arms, right? Make sure you check out my other channel as well. We like talking about bourbon, cigars, all that good stuff. Today we're on that Evan Williams. And make sure you join the Discord channel as well. We're always sharing some good insight there. You know, I thought to myself, my hunting property is located in a place where there is no Walmart. There is, the town where my hunting property is has a grocery store, a Dollar General, a Chinese restaurant or two, and a tractor supply. So if you're trying to keep some stuff in your vehicle, right, where Amazon's not doing two day delivery, stuff like that. What are you going to do? I bring you good old bag here. So let's just show you here the bags. I mean, it's, it's in your face. It's pretty big. 10.4 pounds for the weight. For these DIY bags, I wanna kinda of start giving you the weight that you can expect to walk. Also just an expectation of how long I expect for you to walk with this bag. I put this bag together so that you can walk 15 to 30 miles with this bag, depending on your pace, depending on the terrain. Another caveat, everything in this bag was purchased from Tractor Supply. Now, physically going to the store, going to tractorsupply.com and having it shipped to store. Didn't have anything shipped to my house. You know, I went to physically pick it up at a Tractor Supply. And you know, so I got as much as I could for the essentials for a get home bag. Finally, the assumption is, is that you will have some type of walking shoes, boots, something like that in your vehicle that's going to be able to help you get home. So we didn't purchase any of that stuff from Tractor Supply. They have tons of options for walking shoes and boots and pants and trousers and that stuff. But look, look at this thing, man. This is called the Evolution Tactical. I didn't even know that, that Tractor Supply sold tactical type bags. I mean, this thing is, it, it is, uh, it's a lot going on here. And so let's first talk about the bag itself. You know, it's all black. It does have a little bit of Molly webbing in the front that you can attach some stuff to. You see here, I've, I've tied some orange ribbon here. We'll talk about why I did that here in a second. It does have four pockets on the outside, two on either side. So you see there's this top pocket here. And then there's also the bottom pockets here it's the same on both sides it has compression straps so for whatever you might want to put on the side of the bag and compress down same build up on the other side it has two pockets down here so we have one like the main pocket here and then there's a pocket down below and then a small kind of pocket up here the entire bag itself opens up like a clamshell it's all black obviously as you can see the padding does feel like it is pretty comfortable. I will be rucking with this bag. I'm gonna be starting a new series called Will It Ruck? This will be one of the bags that will be in my Will It Ruck series. It has the same webbing here on the shoulders just in case you wanna carry some stuff on the shoulders. Has the ability to cinch it down pretty tight, nice and tight on the bag itself. Lots of padding on the bag. So, I mean, it's actually a pretty well-made bag. I do have some gripes, moans, and complaints. We'll talk about that. You know, but let's just talk about what I have in the bag. Everything is gonna be for a get home nature type stuff. We're already on the back of the bag, so we might as well just stay here. So here on the right strap or left as you're facing it for the camera, I have a small coastal light that they had. Puts out quite a bit of light. You can see that there. This is the Coastal G22. So, you know, it works off of one AAA battery and it was included. So nice little flashlight, something that you can keep as you're actually rucking or walking with the bag and use. Now they, they also include this five in one uh, compass, signaling mirror, storage container, flint, and whistle. This thing apparently does everything. 
doesn't seem to be the most robust thing ever, but it, the compass is accurate. I have looked at that. It does have a whistle, has a little piece of flint. So if you have a knife, you know, you can use that. And the signaling mirror is completely laughable. I'll show it to you any way. That's the signaling mirror right inside. But hey, when in doubt, you gotta make it happen. Now, one thing I will say is a lot of these survival items I had to cannibalize from another bag. So what I did is I ordered this bag, and I'm gonna link all this stuff up below. I'll link the Tractor Supply link, and i also link up an Amazon link, just in case you're not near Tractor Supply. You know, this bag here I bought for $68. This is like their, I think a five day survival bag, ReadyWise. So ReadyWise sells their materials at Tractor Supply, and so they have this five day survival bag that I didn't want to be the main bag for this video because this bag is, I mean, this bag is just, look at the bag. It's not, it's really kind of crappy. It's not well put together. It just seemed like they threw it together, but I cannibalized the items inside to put together this so I can stay within the rules of keeping everything from tractor supply. So this came from that bag because they don't sell individual emergency whistles at tractor supply. Here on the side here, um, same with that same kit, it did come with this large, no name uh, bottle. But this, I didn't like this bottle because this is this bottle is kind of hard to drink and walk at the same time. These big mouth bottles, I'm not a big fan of that. You know, you can if you do decide to buy this, you can keep it. Does it does include the canteen, which you can use on a stove, which I kind of liked. I actually might keep that, but. You know, I went to the website and I decided to order a 32 ounce um, a bottle. It's easier, easier to use while walking, right? This is made by Yukon Out Outfitters. And so I was able to grab this. This is something that's easy to use while walking. And so it made me feel better about having a water bottle um, that came from there versus, you know, a water bottle that came with that kit. So another complaint about this, one complaint about this bag is there's not a true area for a water bottle. I've kind of stuck this on the side of the bag and I've kind of cinched it down with the compression strap, but there's not a true area for a water bottle. So that is one complaint I have about this bag. Staying on this side of the bag. So at this top part here, we do have a headlamp. This is a headlamp made by Stanley. It, uh, you know, it's ran by three AAA batteries and it puts out a lot of light. It has a lot of spillage for the light, but I mean, it is what it is if you're asking for a light. So you get this light from this headlamp from Stanley. That's all I have in this top pocket here. Just something that will be easy to reference and you can use that while you're walking. Let's stay on this, move on to the other side of the bag at the top. So at this top part here, I do have a bunch of 550 cord that they sell. They sell 550 cord in multiple colors. They also have other types of rope that you can buy as well. But 550 cord is always nice to have. Moving down to the bottom half, we're still on this side of the bag. Here I have a safety vest. So if you're gonna be walking home, get home style, you know, it's what it is nice to just be able to throw on a safety vest. This thing is super bright, <laughs> super bright safety vest. Let's move this thing out of the way so you can kind of see a little bit better. And it, uh, you know, you can either put this on your person or you can wrap the entire bag in this thing. And you know, for the most part, you will be highly visible if you're walking on the side of a highway or a road because there's just no sidewalks, but you've determined that's the best path to go. So I have this folded up nice and tight on the side. Now, as we go through this bag, one thing I wanna mention is that this bag is not put together like my Urban Assault, um, my Urban Fight bag. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that video up below. That bag is more designed for concealment if you have to fight and for recovery. This bag is assuming that maybe your vehicle broke down and you know, you're just trying to walk home and get home to your family. You're not really perceiving a threat, even though there is a few items in here that you can use for protection's sake. We talked about the outside of the bag has this orange strap. So this bag, when I got it, it had an orange strap on the inside of the bag right here. 
cut that out and we put it on the outside of this bag. Now this bag is more visible when you're walking, when you're rucking, you don't have to worry about that. that. So now we're gonna start, we're gonna go to the very top part of the bag here. Let's take a look. So in this area, I keep some cliff bars. I bought these cliff bars as I was walking to check out from there. So I got three chocolate brownie cliff bars. Got a little pack of Kleenex, which is just always nice to have. And we also have a uh, charging cord. You're gonna see why we have this in a second. A couple of charging cords for a phone. Moving to the big part here. I have a N95 mask for the times that we're in. That's gonna be kind of important. I have a more powerful flashlight. This is their Job Smart Pro Series. It includes six AAA batteries and it puts out 770 feet. And I think it goes 600 lumens. So, I mean, you know, pretty decent specs for a flashlight. And one thing I like about the flashlight, it does include a paracord wristband that you can actually use to tighten around your wrist once the flashlight is on your wrist. I, I purposely leave that hanging out the bag to remind me where the flashlight is when it's all cinched up. So they sell in their clothing section, I grabbed one of their beanies, but this beanie um, also has a built-in light. So you can use this as a headlamp if you don't wanna put the headlamp on, if it's cold and it's bright orange, so you're gonna be highly visible while walking. Obviously, this is designed for hunters, but you can use this in a get home situation. I did cannibalize the playing cards from that survival kit that I bought. I'm gonna use this if you decide to purposely take a shortcut. I have a map in here. They sell local maps of the city that you're in. This is a map of the state of Texas. So let's say you determine you wanna try to take a shortcut through the woods or something like that because it may be advantageous for you. I'm gonna use this to mark every quarter mile, maybe every half mile, stick this on a tree, whatever I can do so I can maybe find my way back if my shortcut didn't work out for me. May not work. You know, it is kind of a tactic we use when I was in the Marines, not with playing cards, but you know, just something to kind of mark my paces and mark where I was as we go along. Also included here, this is actually a really nice flippy knife. This thing is, um, I haven't had any complaints about complaints about this thing yet. So this is the Kershaw. I don't know what model this is. I'll link up the model below. But I mean, the flipper in this thing is really pleasing to play with. Extremely pleasing to play with flipper. Drop point style knife. And you know, I do, it does have a little glass breaker on the end. It has an area for a lanyard. You can flip the clip around if you want to carry it left-handed instead of right-handed. I mean, I don't have any complaints about this. The, uh, you know, it's a lower grade steel, but it is very sharp, seems to work well. So I have this kept in this front pocket, you know, if and when it is time to get home and you don't have a knife on you, which most people do EDC a knife, you know, you'll be able to grab that and you'll be good to go. Moving down to the bottom portion of the front pocket, I bought a red bandana. Red bandana can be used for several things or any bandana really, you can use this for, you know, cover your skin if you're bald or something like that, cover your neck to keep protect you from the sun. You can use this for if you get a wound. It's just a number of things you can use a Band-Aid for. Now, on their website, they sell the Uncharted Supply One Person 72 Hour Survival Kit. They also sell Uncharted Supply First Aid Kits. Now you've seen my review for the Uncharted Supply Two Person 72 Hour Survival Kit. I think it's way overpriced for the stuff that you're getting. But one thing I loved about the Uncharted Supply was their first aid kit. And you know, their first aid kit is well put together. It is well labeled, it's easy to understand. So that is one thing I do give them is that when you crack that bad boy open, you definitely know what you're looking at. They have everything labeled. And you know, it includes some SPF 50 sunblock which is going to be good if you're going to be walking for miles and miles you know it's, so it's good to have a first aid kit so alone in that front pocket by itself is a first aid kit in a bandana nothing else so if someone else needs to grab it for me i can navigate them to exactly where it is or if i need to grab it and just go i know where it is i thought about attaching it to this molly portion in the front but I really didn't want a chance for it to fall off. There's a Velcro area in the front where you can put some morale patches. It does have the Evolutions logo on the front. I'll probably end up putting a good old Semper Fi morale patch on there. You guys know how I like to do it. So the entire bag itself 
opens completely up in a very large clamshell. So just show you, this bad boy goes all the way completely open. And now you're exposed to a big middle portion here where you can put whatever you want. And then you have uh, two pockets where you can utilize as well. So let's start with the pocket. So I'm gonna work from the top pocket and work my way into the main part of the bag. So opening this top pocket here. So in that survival kit, it did include some solid fuel tabs. I'm gonna cannibalize those. This is basically my fuel section. You know, if I'm getting home, I'm trying to walk as much as possible, but if it is cold and I do decide to stop and you know, make a fire. I do have different options. That kit included some matches. So that's gonna be good. You know, we have the knife. There's a little bit of flint on the, that five in one tool. You can try to start uh, to get some kindling and use that as well. But you know, when in doubt, you have matches. You know, and in your truck, it's more, it's more than likely you're going to have um, some type of lighter or something that you could throw in this bag. So I cannibalized the solid fuel tablets from that survival kit. I don't know how well those are gonna work. So I bought some fire starter squares and I put those in a, court, a, a Ziploc bag because these things are really flammable and I don't even want them any kind of way accidentally sparking. They did include a bag, you know, um, it's always just useful to have a bag in here. I wish it was a contractor bag, but that survival kit had a bag, so I cannibalized that as well. So let us move to this bottom portion here. Um, I did buy a couple of emergency ponchos. So you can use the poncho, you can cover the entire bag with a poncho, you can cover yourself with a poncho just in case you're walking in the rain, or you can take the poncho along with this white duct tape, which I'm not gonna pull out because it's in here and it's in a quart size bag, but it's white duct tape in here. You know, you can try to make rig up some type of shelter with the paracord, even if it's just gonna be a temporary shelter as a windbreak and as something to keep you dry. And then we can uh, bring all that together with this emergency reusable blanket that was in that emergency kit. I, I'm gonna assume that this thing is not good at all, but I took it from the kit because they don't sell emergency blankets organically at Tractor Supply. They sell it in that kit. You know, I will say for, I'm not gonna review that ReadyWise survival kit, but for $68, you get a bag, five days worth of food. They give you some water a stove to cook stuff on. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not a horrible thing. So we're moving to the main part of the clamshell itself. So this Midland emergency radios is one of the best emergency radios I have ever encountered in a bag or store or whatever. It feels really solidly built. It is made in China, but it still just feels really solidly built. It has a really nice, bright light has a uh, SOS mode. You can charge your devices. That's why you saw these cords earlier. You know, so now this, this is the, uh, you know, this has a cord for the iPhone, micro USB and a USB-C cord. This is the charger cord for this device. You can charge it in your vehicle, but hey, guess what? If I do have to walk home with this bag, I'm going to strap this with one of those compression straps and allow it to gather some sun because it is chargeable via um, sunlight with the solar power <laughs> and you can hand crank it. And then finally, this is the first emergency radio that I've got my hands on that has the big lithium ion battery, but you can also stick six triple A batteries, double A AA or triple A only. You know what I like to say, this thing is a winner. They sell that at Tractor Supply. Listen, maybe it's a day when you don't, you're not wearing a hat. So, you know, I did pick up a good old Tractor Supply hat. Now you can kind of throw this thing on and just have a, something to kind of protect your noggin. Now that survival kit does include that large cup there, you know, but uh, they include a camp stove. The reason I did cannibalize the camp stove from that, that kit is because Tractor Supply doesn't sell anything that allows for you to sanitize water or filter water for that, for that sake either. Not so, you're not coffee filters, nothing, none of that stuff. So, you know, if you don't have a fresh source of water while you're trying to get home, you're gonna be resorting to boiling water. So, but 
you know, that kit also included some emergency water. So this doesn't seem like this was gonna be tons and tons. This is not gonna last you more than one day because if you're walking 10 to 15 miles, you're gonna pump right through this stuff. But it's better to have some water than not have any at all. And of course, the if you buy from their website, the Uncharted Supply Kit, Uncharted Supply does have the big old Ditrex food bars. So, you know, cannibalize that as well. So the very top part of the bag itself you, is normally designed for some armor or something like that. I'm using it as storage. So I did grab from them. They don't have the smaller high speed, low drag tarps that you normally see on this channel. I did grab one of their eight by 10 job smarts, brown and green reversible poly tarp. So this would be, might be good for a windbreak, you know, might be good for a number of reasons just to have a tarp. And just in case that day, oftentimes I do have trousers, boots, walking shoes in my vehicle. But a lot of times, if I'm gonna be walking a long ways, I did grab a pair of moisture wicking odor, uh, odor control socks. They sold it in a six pack. I threw one in here. So if I'm walking for a long ways, it's important to take care of your feet, especially if you're rucking or if you're walking. So, you know, you can grab that, keep that. So what do you guys think? This bag itself, I think was $89. You know, the materials themselves are not that expensive. You probably get away putting this whole bag together for around 300 bucks, probably less than that. Um, you know, so what I will say is just having the option of having a get home bag from somewhere other than Amazon, Walmart, you're trying to DIY this stuff yourself, you know that you're near a local tractor supply, hey, make it happen. But what do you think, man? What should we add to this thing? Maybe you've been on the, the, the site before and you know that there's plenty of things that we could have added to this kit. Speaking of bags and stuff like that, click, click here. I'm gonna put some bags up there. You can check those things out, man. Watch those, check those out. And if you've never seen Marine X Afterthoughts and the bourbon and the cigar goodness that goes on over there. Click, click here. Go check that out, man. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're already a part of the battalion, welcome back. Thanks for coming back again. In the meantime, we'll speak soon.